guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Java 101. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to something called variable arity or var args. You've probably heard of this before, but you might not know of the actual name. Um, basically, variable arity is a, a piece of syntactical sugar for uh, declaring arrays, or declaring arrays as parameters, and this will make more sense in a second. I'm going to go ahead and create a class called group um, and this class is basically just going to represent a group of people. So it's going to have a private string array um, called people and it's going to have a public group which takes in a string array called people and it's going to say this dot people is equal to not new is equal to people and then, you know, we can write other methods that are actually useful, like, you know, a getter, maybe a method to see if a person exists in the group, or maybe you could have a person class instead of just a string for the person's name, but uh, no sense in bothering, like, with that. So let's say that we want to declare a group. So we're going to call, um, we're going to say group, group is equal to new group, um, and then the constructor is obviously going to take in a string array of people, so we can say new string array, um, and it's going to have Bob and Joe, just two random names. So we've declared this group, and the constructor which takes in a string array, um, we've created a new string array, and you know it's Bob and Joe. And obviously we can't do anything with this group class because we didn't write any methods, uh, but we did declare a group. Now, what variable arity allows you to do is... Um, you can write arguments without wrapping them inside of an array instantiation. So the way that you use or declare variable arity, and note that this only works as a parameter, which I'll show you, but you replace the um, array brackets with a dot dot dot. Now you'll notice that there are no errors because even though we've changed the syntax, it still works. The reason why is because this is still treated as a string array, and I, as you can see, I can do people dot length, uh, which you know is for a string array, but it's a certain kind of string array, and I'll show you what's special about it. If we look over here, you'll notice that I can still use this direct you know new string array and do that but I can also do something a little bit easier. So I'm gonna say group better group is equal to new group, and this time I can just write Bob and Joe. Now, how does this work? There's no constructor that has two string parameters. If I take a look, it automatically finds this constructor. So instead of wrapping, um, you know, having a string array and then creating a new string array with the uh, values in it, I can create a new group, um, and then by using variable arity, it will, um, you know, I can add as many parameters as I want without having to wrap them inside of a new string array declaration. So it's just a piece of syntactical sugar, which means that it's not necessary in writing a program, but it just makes things easier. It's nice to be able to have the option of using a string array if you already you know have a variable declared but if you're just declaring it like this then you can put the values in directly and that can make it great one other nice thing about this um, is let's say that I want to make a, an empty group group empty is equal to new group and normally without variable arity I would new make a new empty string array so just a new string array of size 0 but I could make a group better empty, which is equal to new group, and I don't even have to put in any parameters. That will call this same constructor, but this time there are no arguments. And in that case, it will just set people automatically equal to an empty string array. And that is all there. So basically, just to give you a better idea, these two lines are equivalent. This one directly instantiates an empty string array. This one indirectly instantiates it through variable arity. Now, the one place that you might have seen this is if you've ever used the arrays.asList method, you'll notice that it says arrays.asList t dot 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 
A. And that's the reason why it still takes in, in this case, let's say we're making a string array, it can still take in a new string array, you know, of Bob and Joe, but at the same time, I can also do arrays.asList Bob and Joe, because arrays.asList uses the same variable arity as our group constructor. And as you can see, the pro example provided um, uses arrays.asList, and it has these three string parameters um, directly out there, and it's not wrapped inside of anything. The last important thing to note about this is that it's not used in declaration. So for example, I would never say string dot 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 strs is equal to new string array, you know, hello, or, or anything like that. You'll get an error there because, you know, this is used in arguments, not in, uh, it's used in arguments, not in variables. So if I um, were to do that, it would not work. And also, if I were to do it here with the dot, 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 sorry, right there, that also wouldn't make sense because you don't really use it for types, you just use it for parameters. So that's all for this episode. I just wanted to show you guys variable arity. You've probably heard of it, uh, but now you have a good name for it. It's also often called var args or var args. It's stylized kind of like this. I'll just type it out really quickly. Um, if you see that ever, um, then you'll know that that means variable arity. Um, so again, it's just a piece of syntactical sugar. It's not necessary. It's not really, you know, too helpful. Uh, but it certainly can be great to use in some instances like this. It just makes stuff a lot easier. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.